Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. Today is my update for Turn and Burn. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab project pan and it was created by Jessica Lee. I will have Jessica's channel linked down below. She is an amazing panner. Make sure that you go check her out. The object of this project is to use up as many gimme products, samples, deluxe samples, all those kind of things and if you watched my intro you would have seen the big giant basket i had no idea that i had so many <laughs> samples and deluxe samples and things of that nature so let's get into how i did for this update let's start off with this little sample of a cure brightening vitamin c jelly mask my first update i had not used it at all i have since used it twice it's got a little cap on it and i think i have one more maybe two more uses in that and so i will i'm sure i'll be rolling that out at the next update. Next is this little sample of Chantikai Mascara. It is Faux Longest Lash Mascara in black and I'm here to tell you that this is like the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going and going and going. I used this 17 times the first update. I have used it 11 times since then for a total of 28 times, and it's still going. I do like the little brush on it, but as far as a mascara goes, it acts more like a primer to me than a mascara. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to finish this, but when it's done, it's not something that I would repurchase. And Chantica is very, 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 very pricey. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 Medium Lip Liner. And last time, it kind of, sort of looked something like this. I sharpened it and got a cat hair on it and I have whittled it on down to that the first time I used this six times and since then I have used it eight times for a total of 14 times I'm thinking it's going to take me an entire year to use that <laughs> who knew who knew next is this little sample of Ciate London velvet skin cream blush and this is in the shade fancy you can see where my first update was and here is my second update and i used this three times the first update and this time i've used it seven for a total of ten times i'm very proud of myself for using that seven times next is this glow recipe watermelon glow pha and bha pore tight toner and the first update i used this eight times and this time i have used it eight times and that seems to be pretty consistent that was my first update and there is my second update i really really like this and i absolutely love the smell of it it is phenomenal i would most definitely repurchase this next is this herb and eden sage and lavender deodorant this is a clean deodorant and i had two samples the first sample in my first update did not work for me i ended up decluttering that that was lemongrass and patchouli i think was the scent of that i have used i've only used this twice <laughs> However, it has not uh, broke me out and it worked. I actually did not have any smell, so that's a good thing. I mean, it's a sample. This is a sample, but you can't roll it. I mean, you have to roll it back down to get the cap to go on. That's why it looks like that, and I just sit it on the table like that. So far, it's okay. 
I probably would not repurchase, but so far it's working. Next is this little hourglass sample. This is the ambient lighting powder in dim light. I've only used this twice. I used it once the first time. Nope, I'm wrong. I used it four times the first time, and this time I've only used it twice. Mostly because I just didn't think about using it, but going forward I'm planning on incorporating a different system to help me remember what I've got and what product, project, product, product, project, so that I can make sure that I'm cycling through everything. The next product is this little sample of Juliet Has a Gun. And the first update I used it twice. I have since used it four times. And I have gone, I feel like I have probably used it more than four times to use it that much because the first update was there, the second was there, and now I'm way down here. So I am confident that this will be rolling out by the next update. And I do like it, but it is not something that I would repurchase. Next is this Juvia's Place little lipstick sample. This is in the shade Kiwi. And that's how much I have left. The first update I had used it 12 times. This update I have used it nine times and again I'm amazed at how far a sample will go. It will go quite a long ways. It is a very very pretty shade. I really do like that a lot. And quickly I have this OPI top coat. <laughs> I used it once last time and this time I haven't used it at all. This little sample of Opalex number no. 7 bonding oil for your hair. There's my line and there, it, there's no movement but I have used it four times but it literally takes two drops. I mean this is going to last me a long time. I really do like that though. It, it does a really nice job on the ends of my hair. My The ends of my hair have felt very dry lately. Next I have this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in April. April? April? Apple. Apple lime. Apple. And I mean, you can't even hardly tell. There's just a little teeny tiny little divot. And I have used this 10 times. This is going to take a long time to you. Scent box. This is Armani code. Yes. I have used this a total of five times. And that is how much I have left to use. So that one is moving right along. This little sample of Biosense. Biosense? Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. I do like this serum. I have used this a total of 14 times. I didn't use it at all the first update. And I am right there I have maybe two times left and this is the perfect sample size because you get enough product in this bottle to actually tell whether it's helping and whether or not you like it so I am enjoying this I did not check to see what the price was but depending on how pricey it is I'm pretty sure that I would purchase this Tarte Glow Wand. I have used this a total of seven times. <laughs> this little teeny tiny, look at the little teeny tiny doof. That's what it looks like. I, I do like it. I don't know how many more times it's going to take to get through that bottle. It's got a lot of product in it. And then I had two Ofra lip samples. I have Sanibel, which is this one. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I have used this a total of three times, and I didn't weigh these. And I do like this shade. 
So it looks really close, not really close, but like a lighter of that Juvia's Place. But that's very pretty. I do like that. And the other sample is Miami Fever. And I have used this once. And I don't really like the shade on me. It's very orangey terracotta. And I thought that I would like that, but I really was not a fan. But I'm going to continue to work with it and see if I continue to dislike it. Next is the sample of Nude Sticks. This is a cream bronzer and it is in Bondi Bay is the shade name. And I have used this a total of four times. It is a nice little bronzer with a hair on it. And that's how much product I have remaining, and that's what that looks like. I do like nude sticks. I don't know that I would purchase this shade, but I do like nude sticks. Actually, I do have some rollouts. I have this Pure Fiji Body Butter. This is Mango Infused. And it is gone, y'all. Gone like I scraped it clean. And it still smells amazing. I used that a total of 11 times. Now, it was not full. It was maybe about half full. But I rolled that out. And then oh, I have the, the lemongrass and patchouli here in my little, little trash bin. I did not... That smells so good. I might, I make an oil. I, I do a thing with some coconut oil and essential oils. And because of the smell of this, I might melt this down and incorporate that into that oil that I use on my body. That's an idea. The other product that I rolled out is the Briogeo. Bri Bri Brioge. I need to check to see if I'm pronouncing that right. Drives me crazy when I'm not positive <laughs> that I'm pronouncing something right. This is the Charcoal and Coconut Oil Scalp Revival. And I did like this. How many uses did I get out of this two? It... Uh, almost felt like it was clarifying. It really cleaned all of the buildup out of my hair, and I did enjoy it. I would definitely repurchase depending on price, or if it's pricey, if I can catch it on a sale, then I would definitely do that. I finished using the Pure Fiji Coconut Crush Scrub. I think I used that two times. I used this little sample of Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. I really did enjoy this foundation. Depending on price, I might would repurchase that. I'm not a big foundation girl, but I keep trying. I keep trying. I finished this little Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. That was just a one use. I did enjoy that. I love uh, the Huda line, Wishful, is one of Huda's product lines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this little puppy right here. This is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I talked about some of these. That's what I'm thinking of in my, my empties video. I did like this. This is a pre-cleanse. You put it on your face dry. And it worked really well, but when I put water to it and emulsified it, it smelled like I ran a skunk's butt across my face. And so I would not repurchase this because of the smell. It was, it was awful, awful. And I mean, it smells good before you put water to it. I don't know what kind of crazy magic that is. I did finish this scent box. This is Missoni. 
that is all gone she is all gone i finished the dkny nectar love she is all gone as well the pantene shampoo and conditioner that i stole from candlewood sweets now how many uses did i get out of that five i remember back in the day we used to love pantene do they still make pantene i'm not even sure so those are all of my rollouts. I actually did really well. I don't know what I was thinking. I had quite a few rollouts. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, let's talk about what I'm going to be rolling in. I, I feel like I'm rolling in a lot of stuff. <laughs> but some of these I'm going to keep like as a backup so that if I run out of something, I'm not waiting. I don't want to wait to have to do a video to show you what I'm rolling in. So some of this will be on standby. I'm going to roll in this little NYX matte finish makeup setting spray. It's just a little bitty guy. The Herb and Eden body wash in lavender. The Herb and Eden body oil in vanilla and cedarwood. That smells really good. I'm going to roll in this. I think this is Paul Mitchell. Is this is Paul Mitchell. Tea Tree Lavender Mint Moisturizing Conditioner. Tea Tree Special Color Shampoo. Because I'm getting ready to put the purple back in my hair. It's time. This is an Herb and Eden Whipped Body Butter in Lemongrass and Patchouli. I'm hoping that this is not sticky. That smells really good too. I do not. I love body butters, but I don't like them to be sticky. And these little samples of body butter, I think, will go fairly quickly. So I'm apparently lost my mind and rolling in several. This is another Urban Eden whipped body butter, and this is original. This is Urban Eden whipped body butter in jasmine and vanilla. That one smells really good, too. I have this Total Results Matrix Instacure Liquid Protein. And I'm thinking that that is a spray on clean, damp hair. Yes. <laughs> it's for your hair. Because I need another hair product. This little sample of Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. You see I've used some of that. I want to get that done up. Oh, look. I stole two bottles of Pantene Shampoo and Conditioner. From Candlewood Sweets. That was a long time ago, y'all, when I was naughty. I, I don't do stuff like that anymore. Here's a Briogeo. <laughs> don't despair. Y'all see the cat hair floating around? Don't despair. Repair. Deep conditioning mask. I think most of these little samples like that I got in a... Sephora sample bag or something. I have this Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel, which I've used a little more than half of. I have this Tarte hydrating primer, base tape hydrating primer. I have a Bondi Boost Miracle hair mask, more Briogeo because apparently I want to keep saying it and saying it wrong possibly, Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. I guess I'm going to be doing a lot of hair mask. I have two soap samples. Both of these are from Urban Eden. I bought a whole little sample thing because they're a clean brand and I I like to use clean products as much as possible. They're so cute. This, look at these little bitty bars of soap. This is activated charcoal. Charcoal. 
activated charcoal. Oh, that smells good. And this is oatmeal and honey. I much prefer a bar of soap over a shower gel. That smells good too. I have a couple of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Why, why am I putting these in here? This is Pillow Talk Medium. That's a lot of lipstick. And then this is Pillow Talk 2. I can't read it. I mean, it's tiny. How are you supposed to read that? I have this one on, and it's very light for me. But that one's even smaller than this one. I have the Sigma lip gloss, and I don't know what the shade name is. But it's a very pretty lip gloss, and I have that on with the Charlotte Tilbury. I have a... Another nude stick. This is gel color lip and cheek balm in the shade Posh. And I would not put that on my cheeks. That is way too glowy for me. I don't know, maybe. Maybe if I powder it. And this is a crayon that you sharpen. I have a Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Graphic Eyeliner Pen. This is black. And it's waterproof. It has a very nice little fine tip on it. I have Dior Mascara and Primer. I want to use these up. I have Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara Sample. I have It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I'm, I'm trying to find different mascaras to use, y'all, because, you know, Shantikai just, it keeps going and going. This is I Am Beautiful by Real Her Mascara Sample. I have this little teeny tiny buxom, is this a plumping lip gloss? Full-on plumping lip cream. And I have a little bitty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream from First Aid Beauty. I have a sample from IT Cosmetics of their Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. What's the matter, Biscuit? Biscuit says hi. Say hi to Biscuit in the comments. I have another face primer. What is it, Biscuit? This is Too Faced Hard, Hard Cover, Hard Cover, Hangover, Replenishing Face Primer. I have a little sample of Laura Mercier. This is a caviar stick. Yes, a natural caviar stick. And I have used this. It makes a really good eye primer. And last but not, no, no, this is not last. I have one more. <laughs> Rucker Roots. Rucker Roots. GTC Ginger Turnip and Carrot Curly Cream. Because, you know, you see how curly my hair is. Sometimes I can get it to curl. There's not a whole lot in here, but that smells really good. I'm going to try it. I just want to try it. I was trying to get my hair to curl, and it was kind of curling, and then I gave up because I don't do a lot to my hair, as you can see. Y'all are like, whoo, what a hot mess she got going on. The last little sample is the So Rich Glow Light Highlighter. I'm hoping that there's not a whole lot in there. And maybe I can get this used up. I never ever imagined using an entire highlighter in a year, but maybe this little baby one I can do. Did I tell y'all that in my spreadsheet there were 177 items in this turn and burn that are samples and deluxe sizes. I mean, I've used up some of them. That's including the ones that I've... That's a lot, y'all. That's a lot. Anyway, 
I appreciate you checking out my turn and burn to see where I'm at. I'll have all the information about this project down in the description box along with links if you want to sign up. It's never too late. Jump in where you are. Before you go check all of that out, make sure you show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age and any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I will see you in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye. Christopher, here is your makeup tip from Yo Mama. When applying mascara, blink like nobody's watching. It's the secret to luscious lashes. Okay? Mom loves you, baby.